on Friday, the 12th of August, 1988, Basquiat's friend Kevin Bray phoned to confirm plans to go to a Run DMC concert later that evening. Basquiat's girlfriend Kayla answered and went to the bedroom to deliver the message, finding Jean Michel stretched on the floor, his head on his arm, a small pool of vomit forming near his chin. Kel panicked. She had never seen anyone die, although Basquiat's drug binges had made the scenario a constant fear. Now it seemed like the worst had happened. When I got there, recalls Bray, Kel said she had called an ambulance. She took me upstairs. Jean Michel looked like he was comfortably out cold. He was on the floor, lying against the wall, as if he had fallen down and didn't have the strength to get up, and was just taking a nap. There was a lot of clear liquid coming out of his mouth. We picked him up and turned him over. We shook him, and we just kept trying to revive him. It took a long time for the ambulance to arrive, but for a while, after the guys from the emergency medical service came, we thought he was going to be okay. They were giving him shocks and IV treatment. Victor had to hold Jim Michelle up like this so the IVs would drain, says Bray, stretching his arms out in a cruciform. It was almost like it was some sort of business transaction. Bray continued, they put a tube in his throat and they brought him downstairs. They wouldn't tell us whether he was dead or alive and they took him outside. He had this bubbling red-white foam coming out of his mouth. We all hoped some miracle would happen. Jean-Michel Basquiat died that day, aged 27.